I didn't learn about this until I was uh, training to become a coach. And this statistic was developed over time by dental consultants and dental CPAs based on the basics, basic business principles of revenue versus expenses. So if we look at this benchmark and we call it the three to one, and what that means is that in order for the hygiene department to reach the first point of profitability, they are producing three times their salary plus benefits, okay? So if we just imagined that, let's say a hygienist produces $3,000 in a day, okay? That's a pretty great day. They produce $3,000 in a day, right? A third of that um, could be allocated for salary and benefits. Um, another third in the gray area is to cover the overhead of that hygiene department. So think about the pieces of, um, all those pieces of gauze that we use, right? Think about the goodie bags that we hand out. What about the instruments that we use? Um, or all of the different materials that we use within the hygiene department. That's not it though. How about the equipment? How about the chair that that patient is sitting in, the power that ta it's taking to power that operatory, and maybe even the lease that the doctor's paying for that operatory. All of those things go into overhead. Now, um, that's not an easy number to calculate, right? Because a lot of those things are split up and used you know, in multiple parts of the practice. But in general, that includes that overhead. The other thing that we get questions about a lot are what about like um, uh, payroll taxes? So I've consulted with a lot of different CPAs. Most of them put that in the overhead category, okay? Now, so we've got $1,000 there. We've got $1,000 in, prof in um, salary and benefits. And that leaves another $1,000 that can go back into the practice as profit. And what can dental practice owners do with profit? They can reinvest, right? They can reinvest in technology. They can reinvest in uh, a new facility. They can reinvest in education. They can reinvest in sharing part of that with the team. So when there's profit, there's a lot of things that can happen in the business that cannot occur without that.